How much should you walk every day to lose weight? So many of us do sports, go to the gym, and try different diets. And all this time, we didn't even realize that everyday lengthy walks, as shown by a number of studies, are no less effective against excess pounds. Here is a list of the most important rules you should follow for walking to replace a whole set of exercises. Number 1. How to turn a walk into a training set The main factors affecting the calories burned when walking are the distance covered, your speed, and your body weight. For best results, you should follow a regular schedule and use a pace counter. This device will tell you how much you've walked during the day. If you cover a big distance but still don't lose weight, it can count how many steps you should add. However, don't overdo it. Start with a slow pace and gradually increase it every day. Number 2. How many steps to make per day to lose weight? Keep in mind that the results depend on your characteristics, lifestyle, food habits, and health condition. You should always count your calorie workout routine very carefully. Never follow your friend's schedule even if you exercise together. Everybody is unique, and you need your plan. This approximate estimation will help you make your own schedule. 100 calories equals 2,000 steps equals 1 mile. 2 pounds equals 140,000 steps equals 7,000 calories equals 70 miles. Here are some simple ways to prolong your walks. Try to drive or take a bus less. If you become bored quickly during long walks, Try to listen to your favorite music or radio. If you have kids, take them to and from school. Also, you can try to walk with them through a park on the way back home or keep changing your regular route. Stop taking elevators and escalators, at least for a month. Walk your dog for longer. It will make both you and your dog much healthier and happier. If you follow these simple rules every day, you'll see the result within a month. Also, to make your walks more enjoyable, try the following. Take a friend along. Listen to your favorite music or audiobook while walking. Walk around unfamiliar places and choose new routes. In winter, you can continue practicing at home if you have a treadmill. It will let you watch movies or TV shows while keeping you in shape. Number 3. How to walk correctly. Keep in mind that your steps are uneven and can vary from a foot to a yard. To count your step length, measure a distance of 30 to 65 feet and cover it in your usual pace while counting steps. Less than 70 steps per minute. For a healthy person, such a pace has next to no training effect. It's recommended for people recovering from a heart attack or suffering from severe angina. 71 to 90 steps per minute, 2 to 2.5 two miles per hour. It's recommended for people with cardiovascular diseases. 91 to 100 steps per minute, 2.5 to 3 miles per hour. It's a good load for your body that's suitable for any healthy person. 111 to 130 steps per minute. It's great exercise for your body, but even healthy people have difficulty maintaining such a pace for a long time. Now, let's have a look at the rules of walking you need to follow. 1. Start with a light load, gradually increasing the duration and pace. You should raise the length of your walks first, and only then increase the tempo. The load should be adequate for your health. 2. Practice walking regularly. A walk a week won't do you any good. If you can't take walks every day, then do it at least 2-3 to three times a week. 
It can be done at any convenient time, but no earlier than 1 to 1 1⁄2 hours after a meal. 3. Consult your physician and undergo a medical checkup, and repeat it 1 to 2 times a year. Number 4. Watch your posture while walking. Your torso and shoulders should be straight and your stomach sucked in. You should also remember that a slow walk over a short distance will be useless. However, if you walk too fast and for too long being unprepared, you may even cause harm to yourself. Watch your pace and your breath. You should feel comfortable while walking. Do you walk regularly? Does it help you feel better in any way? Share your experience in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.